Hi, welcome to story time. I have one more crayon book here, and it's the day the crayons came home. Remember the day the crayons quit? Yeah, well, maybe this is good. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily coloring together when a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. There it is right there. That's an interesting stack, isn't it? Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only colored with me once to draw a scab, but whatever. Anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch. Then your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come get me. And can Paperclip come too? It's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Oh my goodness, he's been through it, hasn't he? Poor maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the color pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. The crayon formerly known as P. Green. Esteban the Magnificent. <laughs> oh. Hi, Duncan. It's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great vacation we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not because I'm still here. How could you how could you miss me? Anyway, after 8 months waiting for you to come get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, neon red crayon. Still at the pool. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yellow and orange. Duncan, it's us, yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the color of the sun. But guess what? Neither of us wants to be the color of the sun anymore. Not since we left. We were left outside and the sun melted us together. You know, the real color of the sun, hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care just bring us home you're not so sunny friends yellow and orange they got melted together oh man and they made green the sun yes they did <laughs> dear duncan i'm sure you don't recognize me after the horrors i've been through i think i was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna? I don't know, I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room rug? Because I have. I have been eaten by a dog and puked up on the rug. Duncan, and it's not pretty. Not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back your undigestible friend, tan or possibly burnt sienna crayon? Oh, that poor crayon. He's been through it, hasn't he? <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> Dearest Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. <laughs> that one just cracks me up. Oh, my. Hey, Duncan. Remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come get me. I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow-in-the-dark crayon. Look at all the stuff he drew. Oh, me. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. Been through China, Canada, and France, I think. 
Just crossing New Jersey by camel now. New Jersey has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. <laughs> oh, me. Duncan, does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big day payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile, huh? I told you I'd make me blunt if you colored each coin individually, but would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also no. Now I can't color anything at all. Your pointless friend, Gold Crayon. The poor gold crayon. Look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dear Duncan, I've seen the world. It's rainy. I'm coming back. Esteban the Magnificent. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's just as funny. Oh, hi Duncan. You're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock. Question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? From stinky, socky, stucky on head buddy, turquoise crayon. Sock says hi. Oh, me. Dear Mr. Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall, and tried to color garbage with me. The worst part is he is a terrible artist. I can't tell you what his drawings are. Donkeys, monkeys, donkey monkeys. Picasso said every child is an artist, but I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me. Your friend, desperate, big, chunky toddler crayon. <laughs> this is great. I love it. Duncan? Greetings from the Amazon rainforest. Making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. He's so confused. <laughs> oh, me. Hello, Duncan. It's me, brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great coloring jobs. Candy, bars, puppies. Ponies, lucky me, right? But they don't know what else you used me to color, do they? I don't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but it did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please, let's stick to candy bars, okay? Your very embarrassed friend, brown crayon. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, Bear Goes in the Woods by Duncan. <laughs> Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken, or neglected over the years, so he ran around gathering them up. But Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped than they used to be that they no longer fit in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. There's no dogs down there, are there? Nope, no turkeys either. Oh, you flatter me, but it's not real chocolate. Let's have a party. This one is from my blue period, but it's not really blue, more lilac. I think that door is for us. Ah, there you are. I could use a haircut. No, I think everyone is welcome. Hope there isn't a metal detector. Looks good, lads. I'm Ted. What are you wearing? Oh, uh, I think he goes by Ted. Make sure it's straight. 
Boy, is that a great place, and all the crayons are just loving it. Yes, they are. The crayon fort. All crayons welcome. And this is Cleveland. I got a hike to the Great Wall of China. <laughs> oh. I really enjoyed that. And you can tell that I don't read these before I film them. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly did.